From having a shocking record fee of 100 million pounds to living in a beautiful, luxurious mansion worth 6 million pounds in Manchester, Jack Grealish's drunken lifestyle is not what you think. His girlfriend, the top English footballer Jack Grealish, was rumored to be in a relationship with Sasha Atwood. Although the two recently published their relationship, rumors of their dating had already spread widely in the year 2021. It's completely different to, to the way I was at Villa. I think at Villa I was more free. Um, you know, here it's more structured at City. Um, I have a great relationship with the manager. Um, you know, I've said in so many interviews, he's just, you know, I've never seen anything like it, the way he thinks and the way he look, uh, looks at football. Um, he's just obsessed with it and, you know, I think he can, you can tell why um, and you can see why. Uh, but no, I have a good relationship with him. Um, you know, I know people are saying that like I might be playing a bit different to the way I used to. Um, but I think that just comes with the players that I'm playing with as well. You guys won't believe that the most shocking thing is that Grealish and Atwood have been together since their teenage years and have maintained a long-term relationship since then. Surprisingly, the two were not seen together that often in their early years of dating. However, now that they have confirmed the news, they often post pictures of them together on social media. Sasha enjoys a luxurious lifestyle, from going on huge shopping sprees to being present at various football ceremonies. People are often seen adorning the couple in their comments. Fans recently praised Sasha as she posted about vacationing in Italy. Daily workout and exercise routine. Looking at Jack Grealish's thick, muscular legs and perfect athletic body, some of you might think that the first thing the footballer does after going home is exercise, right? The answer to this is maybe no. During an interview, the interviewer asked Grealish about the exercise plan he follows for his calves, and you guys just won't believe what he said. You see the manager comes in and then you get, you get an injury after his first game, you don't really want to pull it out, you know what I mean? You want to lock and press the manager and you want to keep playing and stuff, so I carried on playing, yeah, I think he must have played about seven or eight games with it. And then in the end, like, the Middlesbrough game and the, and the West Brom one, the, the pain got like, too much really. Instead of mentioning some special exercises, Grealish simply said that he doesn't indulge in any special exercises and that his muscular legs are inherited from his parents and grandparents. This leads us to think that unlike other footballers, Grealish does not spend much of his time doing exercises. Although he does work out on a daily basis, which is his career requirement, he only spends a limited amount of time on it as compared to his fellow players. However, the player does not compromise on what he eats at all. According to reports, he follows strict diet plans and prefers not to eat a lot of junk in order to stay fit and actively perform on the pitch. Luxurious car collection. Grealish is known for his extravagant lifestyle and loves to spend his money on expensive cars and luxury houses. It may not come as a surprise if I tell you guys that Grealish owns an amazing collection of expensive speed monsters. The snazzy footballer was recently seen driving his amazing Range Rover SVR, which costs more than £80,000. This model of Range Rover has a uniquely designed interior and a higher top speed as well. Not only this, but the flashy footballer also owns a Mercedes S-Class, which is as classy as Grealish himself. It is equipped with the latest modern technology and costs around £84,000. It is reportedly the most expensive vehicle in Grealish's collection. What do you guys think of Grealish's amazing car collection? Let me know. Also to mention is that Grealish reportedly owns some other cars as well. However, he hasn't posted most of them on the internet, so we can't really say anything about them for now. Residential Properties As the most expensive player in the history of English football, it comes as no surprise that Grealish owns an extremely luxurious property. Initially, the player used to live in England in a big house that cost £1.7 million, but after his transfer to Manchester, he sold his house, which was in England, and also sold a temporary apartment that he had. And you guys just won't believe what he did after selling those two properties. I mean, even my jaw dropped when I learned that after selling his old property, Grealish bought a huge mansion worth an astonishing £6 million in Manchester City. He legit spent £6 million on a house as big as a town just for his residence only. It is totally insane. This luxurious mansion is immensely huge and has seven beautiful bedrooms, along with a huge swimming pool and a personal gym where Grealish could do a little bit of his daily workout. 
This house is literally perfect for Grealish's healthy and lavish lifestyle as it provides everything for his comfort. Not only is this house huge on the inside, but it is also surrounded from the outside by a large area of 20 acres. This area was bought by Grealish and is also personalized by Grealish himself, according to his luxury desires. It is a well-set area, and here you will find a private fishing lake, a helipad, a tennis court, and a lot more. This amazing mansion is literally everyone's dream house. Net worth and salary. Jack Grealish already owns the title of the most expensive English player with a record fee of an astonishing 100 million pounds. Not only this, but the English footballer is also ranked among the top 10 highest paid Premier League players, which allows us to think that his earnings won't be any less than a million dollars. Grealish is currently in high demand because of his crazy talents and skills and has earned a reputation for his distinctive playing style, which often involves drawing fouls and winning free kicks for his team. This is the main reason for his huge transfer fee of $100 million. Also, you guys just won't believe the amount of money Grealish earns just from football alone. The English midfielder literally earns £300,000 per week, which equals £15.6 million per year just from football. How amazing is that? Imagine earning so much money just from football. Not only this, but Grealish also does not fall behind when it comes to brand endorsements. The footballer has a contract with leading sportswear brands like Nike and Puma. Although his contract with Nike ended last year, he still earns enough from Puma alone. Not only this, but Grealish was also made the brand ambassador of the high-end luxury brand Gucci in April 2022, from which he earns a whopping £1.7 million per year. After all his crazy earnings, the net worth of the football star will reach €48 million Euros in 2023. How crazy is that? Controversies and questionable activities Time will tell, obviously, I think it's too early to judge, but what a magnificent start. Not only starting uh, to the first game, but, uh, you know, being two goals up in such a short space of time, getting the fans on your side, you know, it's magnificent. You couldn't have dreamed for a better start than that. And there were some good performances, you know, they were playing on the front foot, a lot more freedom and expressing themselves. But as I say, it's a little bit of false economy because they get two early goals, you know, against the Man United side who took a step back. So... Reserve judgment at the moment, but you couldn't have wished for a better start than that. Apart from being a leading worldwide champion, Grealish has often been involved in various controversies as well. In April 2015, the football star was warned by Aston Villa manager Tim Sherwood after he was caught inhaling nitrous oxide. According to young Grealish, he did this only for fun, but the activity was quite dangerous and was seriously criticized by his manager. Another such incident took place in November, when after a 4-0 loss against Everton, Grealish decided to stay in Northwest England and was later found clubbing in the city. Grealish remained in the headlines for bad reasons and other controversies for a couple of more years while he was a part of Aston Villa. You guys won't believe that the player, after being involved in so much controversy, still kept on violating the government's laws to stay at home during COVID-19 and was also part of a heavy crash. Upon looking at the CCTV footage, it was found that Grealish had deliberately bumped his Range Rover into two other cars in the parking lot. After further investigation, it was also found that the player had been smelling liquor. The government took quick action against all this and charged Grealish with a fine of £82,499 and banned him from driving for nine months. Charities and Donations Despite all his controversies and bad deeds, the player has also been a part of many good works, including charities and donations. He loves to spend his money to help poor and needy people. In the year 2020, Grace gave one of his prized football shirts to help raise money for the NHS. Fans praised Grealish a lot as he selflessly donated his favorite shirt that he had worn in the match against Birmingham. His meritorious act helped raise 55,000 pounds. Not only this, but the player also donated 150,000 pounds to a hospital during the pandemic from his own personal money. All right, guys, those were a few important details about Jack Grealish's drunken lifestyle. If you guys liked the video, then don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another amazing video from us. See you guys next time.